Um, so Sean, I wanted to have you give some insight on the benefits of eating while you're out on the golf course in a tournament um, and kind of what your players may do um, to have some success on tour. Uh, it's such a, it's like guys, um, the girls and boys out there, understand this is the things I'm talking about. Eating, what is food? Food is fuel. Mm -hmm. What is food made up of? Fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, okay? What is a carbohydrate? It's energy. It's 105 degrees out, you're pushing, your, you're, you're pushing or pulling your cart, you're going up and down hills, you're burning through. So it's, you're not running a marathon, but you're burning through your energy stores, right? okay? So fats are good energy stores, the right types of fats. Low glycemic carbohydrates, meaning that if it's a high glycemic, the amount of sugar in it is gonna boost your insulin levels quickly and you're going to, you're gonna get tired. And the only way is to eat again, right? So it's like, if you look at people who are really, really overweight, the reason they keep eating is because they don't have any nutrients in their food. So their body is constantly craving nutrition, but there's no nutrients in McDonald's and Wendy's and you know what I mean? Right. So the idea on the course is not only do the players on tour eat on the course, but a lot of the best players on tour have their blood work done to see what the optimal food is for them to eat. So you'll see them eating these homemade bars. They don't taste like a Snickers bar. They're not totally delicious, but it has the right amount of fats, protein and energy so that they can go ahead. That's a controllable to me. Mm. That's something I can control. Making sure that, that I'm doing that is something I can control. Now, everyone, when it comes to food, everyone's unique. Right. Everyone is unique. So there's people who can eat white rice and it's an energy source. For some people, it's not. It depends on the environment you grew up in, the culture, how long people have been eating that food. It's all those different aspects. Mm -hmm. So getting your blood work done to see what food works with you, what food doesn't work with you is a big deal because a lot of people are allergic to the things they eat. But the allergy, it's difficult because they don't see hives like when you get stung by a bee or you rub up against uh, poison ivy. You don't see it on the outside. But on the inside, the in large intestine gets inflamed. The problem is, guys, the immune system is where the large intestine exists. So if it's inflamed, your ability to fight off allergies from pollen and these things, your ability to fight off, you know, um, disease, all these things get affected. So not only are players on tour eating, they've looked at it very scientifically on how to eat the right way. So if you're a Formula One car, you cannot put diesel in it. It will not drive. Right. It has to be a certain amount of, of gas put in at a certain amount of time so that over the last five laps, the car is light as it can be, but also finishes. The tires have to be correct. That's your nutrition. Mm -hmm. So take a much deeper look at, at what that is. The guys on tour when they're your age, they're probably eating hot dogs after nine holes. They're probably eating chicken fingers after. We all do. I mean, who does not like chicken fingers? All right? Uh, that you have a problem if you don't like chicken fingers. That's how good chicken fingers are. But none of them are eating that anymore. Yeah. That's a complete promise. Yeah. Right? Justin Rose goes on a very stringent diet for three months because, before Augusta because during the swing from Florida to Augusta, his allergies flare up. If he eats really well, he doesn't get as affected by it. Mm. So really speak to your parents about it. Parents... Look into good nutritionists in your area and find out the best way because food is fuel and this body that we have, you know, is a really special thing, but it works, it works off of that. So, I mean, overall, if you can count your calories, you should count your blessings. Um, I'm not talking about becoming a vegan or anything like that. Some people need meat. Some people don't. By doing these tests, you can find out what works for you.